So as per special request by the morning show's number one fan, Mr. Sherry, uh, he requested more movie intros. So this one's for you. We tried our best with the Fistful of Dollars intro. Good morning, CNS. Today is Thursday, May 9th, 2024, and it is a C day. I'm Johnny. And I'm Rachel Rowe. Good morning, everyone. The Coos Foundation was made to create a safe community for survivors of suicide loss to heal. The Coos Foundation will be running a fundraiser collecting items listed on posters around the school to make care packages for survivors. Donation boxes will be placed in all house offices. More information about the foundation and Mrs. Kusamano's story is on the Coos Foundation website. Go to thecoosfoundation.org or scan the code to go to the website. Attention juniors, the administration is currently accepting applications for the next ex officio Board of Education member for the 2024-2025 school year. Each year, a high school senior is elected to serve a one-year term as a non-voting board member. The student is expected to attend all public board meetings and is allowed to participate in all public discussions and voice their opinions. It's still going. Any junior interested in applying for this position should pick up an application from the main office. All completed applications are due in the main office by Thursday, May 23rd. Interviews will be conducted the week of May 27th. Please see Mrs. Clancy in the main office if you have any questions. And now here's sports with me. Unified Basketball celebrated their senior night last night, and what a celebration it was. Check out the halftime dance party. Congratulations to all participants, and a big shout out to the Chirp crew for showing up and showing out. Boys Lacrosse hosts West Jenny tonight for Teacher Appreciation Night at 7 o'clock. Everyone pop out and support your North Stars. Girls Lacrosse is on the road, also facing the West Genesee Wildcats. The baseball team looks to keep their streak alive against West Jenny tonight. Justin Coyne is on the bump and set for a 4.30 start at Gillette. Be there and pop out. And now let's send it down to the North Stars branch. Thanks, guys. We're here with this week's Athlete of the Week, Kiki Bembry. Had nine strikeouts on Tuesday against Beeville. The North Stars ended up winning that game in walk-off fashion with a walk-off hit by Aubrey Coyle, and Kiki pitched seven and a third innings. Congratulations, Kiki. As always, this week's Athlete of the Week is brought to you by the CFCU Credit Union. Stop down to see our newest promotion. Thanks, Johnny. You're that back. was riveting. I am. For lunch today, there will be mac and cheese with the garlic breadstick, green pepper strips with the essential, essential. dip. The essential I dip. I don't know what that is, but count me in. Carrot coins and fresh fruit, not necessarily from New York State. Darn. And that's all for today from the CNS Morning Show. I'm Johnny. And I'm Rachel Rowe. Happy, fantastic day.